G'day there folks, I'm Beanie, you're watching Beanie Draws, and I'm coming at you once again with another daily doodle, or a daily sketch if you'd rather. Now in this drawing, what I wanted to do was depict what I think it might look like if Mosasaurus sneaks up behind the submarine that we see in the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom trailer. Because even before the trailer came out, there were stories that there was going to be a submarine scene, and I figured that there's probably going to be a scene where the submarine comes down and probably picks up the body of the Indominus Rex. Because Indominus Rex was an expensive hybrid creature to create, and they probably didn't want to let their investment go to complete waste, so they probably went down to extract the DNA so they could create some new dinosaurs, and as we've seen in the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom trailer, that's exactly what they did. So even before the trailer came out and we saw the Mosasaurus eye, I figured there was going to be a chase scene between the Mosasaurus chasing the submarine, and so that's exactly what I drew here. The only difference is when I envisioned drawing it initially, I thought that it was just going to basically be the Mosasaurus chasing after the submarine, but then after I saw the trailer with the Indominus Rex skeleton in the shot, I figured it'd be even cooler to have the submarine just kind of floating there looking at the Indominus Rex skeleton, and then the Mosasaurus sneaking up from the shadows behind it. So with this artwork, I wanted there to be a strong emphasis on depth and shadow. So in drawing this one, the challenge wasn't necessarily on how to draw a Mosasaurus itself, but rather how to visually express the length of the Mosasaurus gradually fading out into the distance. Because when it comes to drawing underwater scenes, and I haven't done all that many underwater scenes myself, but from my observations, when it comes to underwater scenes, there's a lot of emphasis on darkness and shadows. So I was trying to use a lot of different layering techniques, gradually making the Mosasaurus fade off into the distance. And of course, there was also the challenge of foreshortening, which is always a bit of a challenge, but I used some of the shots from Jurassic World where the Mosasaurus splashes out of the water and I used those shots as my inspiration for the foreshortening. So the real challenge here was getting the nice depth and lighting and I think I did a pretty good job. You might not notice it, but I tried to add in a subtle bit of lens flare on the lamps, adding a little bit of dust speckles and bubbles inside the glow of those lamps for a bit of atmosphere and giving the bones of Indominus Rex a subtle bit of edge glow lighting so it looks like it's been hit by the lamp. So all in all, I think it visually depicts the vision that I had, and I guess we'll find out in the final movie if this particular shot ends up in the movie as well. Because like I mentioned in my previous video of Indoraptor vs Tyrannosaurus Rex, I'm kind of trying to go for a prediction of visuals theme with these videos where I'm trying to see if I can predict what some of the shots of the movie might look like before the movie comes out, because I did that with Indominus Rex vs T-Rex, and it turned out that shot ended up in the movie. So let's see if this shot ends up being in the movie. So if you want to see more videos like this one, give this video a big old thumbs up. If you're new here and you don't want to miss future videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. And once you've done all that, feel free to navigate to one of these videos that you can watch right now. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio for now.